Hello and welcome to tonight's homework help for Thursday night, October 18th, 2012. We're going to jump right in with two-step equations, part B. Solve and it should not say explain, it should say check. So we're going to use the process where we know how to check our answers, or check our work. Uh, so first of all, solve. So let's see here, let's do... I'll do this bottom one down here as an example. So um, what I've encouraged some people to do is go ahead and switch them at the beginning, but there's not much space here, so I'm just going to switch it, switch the answers at the end. Um, anyways, uh, the first thing I need to do is um, I need to recognize that my variable is d, and it's attached to 4 by division and 7 by subtraction. So I'm going to want to get rid of the 7 first by adding 7 to both sides. Okay, and here I'll draw my boundary. Um, the boundary isn't necessary, it's kind of like training wheels, but if it helps you out, um, please by all means use it. So I added 7 to both sides. <clears throat> These two 7s will make a 0, and 0 plus d over 4 will leave me with just d over 4 on this side. Okay, 3 plus 7 will leave me with a 10, and I bring down the equal sign. Okay, then um, I'm still I still have 4 attached to my variable d by division. That's what the fraction bar means. It means division. So the inverse of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. So when I do that, I end up with 40 on the left side. And 4 times 4 makes 1 times d leaves me with d on the right-hand side. So as an answer, we'll, write it, we'll rewrite it as d equals 40. Uh, <coughs> naming the variable first. Okay, now as far as checking my work, I'm just going to use the half of the equation that has the variable, okay? So I'm going to copy it over here, d over 4 equal, um, whoops, let's see if I can undo that. Nope. Um, oh, there, there we go. We'll try that again. Uh, we have d over 4 minus 7, and I want to see what that equals. So what I'm going to do is in place of uh, d, my variable d here, uh, I'm going to use what it's equal to, 40. So I'm going to place a 40 in for the d. So I'm going to rewrite it as 40 over 4 minus 7. Well, <clears throat> 40 over 4 is 10. 4 goes into 40 10 times, 10 minus 7. 10 minus 7 is 3. Now I just want to see does this answer match with this answer here, and it does, so my answer is correct. Okay, we're going to move on to the other side. Okay, here we are on the side two uh, of our homework, and we have the Apple Farm field trip. Uh, number one, 63 second graders are going on the field trip. 19 parents will also go. How many people are going on the field trip? So based on this information here, you're going to have to answer the question how many people are going on the field trip here and then show how you know your answer is correct so you're gonna to have to show your proof uh, or I guess actually you can write the answer to how many people are going on the field trip down here uh, and show the proof here okay how you figured it out number two says the apple farm is 92 miles from the school they have traveled 58 miles so far how many more miles do they have to go so if they've gone 58 how many more miles do they have to get to 92? I'm sure most of us can figure this out in our heads, but we don't want you to figure it out in your heads because the instructions say right here, show how you know your answer is correct. So you have to show the proof here and put the miles left to go to the apple farm there. Okay, uh, number three, Molly wants to buy an apple pen. She sees a red apple pen that costs 48 cents. She sees a sparkle apple pen for 65 cents. How much more does the Sparkle Apple Pen cost? So now you're going to compare the price of the Sparkle Apple Pen and the cost of the Red Apple Pen. And you're going to show how much more the Sparkle Apple Pen is. And again, you're going to have to prove that you figured it out. And you're going to have to show your proof down here and then write how much more it is here. Okay? Uh, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to call or text Mr. Slepper or myself. And um, good night, good luck, and go Bears! Rawr!